Hello everyone, hope you find yourself having a great day. This is going to be a quick down and dirty uh, illustration of how to set up a background reference image. Uh, you might want to set up a background reference image uh, to help facilitate uh, uh, being accurate in your modeling. In any case, let's get started. We'll need to move into our front viewport. It's important that you do this. Uh, if you're not in your front viewport, uh, some of the uh, settings that you'll need won't be available to you. So once you're in your front uh, viewport, come up top under Options, and then select Configure. At this point, make sure that you have under your viewport um, options selected the Back tab. Back in regards to the background image you're going to use. We're going to browse and select the background image that we're going to use. Click Open. And at this point, it's been placed in our viewport for reference. And you might use this uh, in the future uh, in regards to placing splines to drawing to get an accurate representation of the uh, model that you're going to be working with. Sometimes it's nice to increase its transparency so that you'll be able to still see the reference image. However, uh, in the event that you're drawing um, splines, for example, if I'm drawing splines on here, I'll still be able to see those compared to if I were to look at this with less transparency it makes it a little bit more difficult to see so you can play with that by coming in and out of your uh, viewport settings under your background options and increasing or decreasing that transparency to suit your needs alright guys that was another quick down and dirty example of uh, something that might uh, help make your life a little bit easier in regards to Cinema 4D. Hope you like it. If you like my channel, please subscribe, comment, and rate. Alright, talk to you later. Bye-bye.